Wow, everybody is on time today. That's amazing. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? How's the day going so far? So far, is it good? Very good. Very good. Jenny, I miss you. What happened, Jenny? I miss you just today. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, so, so, teacher. Do you feel much better? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see you. I also happy uh, to thanks. see Mr. Miss Eileen Alexander. Hey, Mr. Jari Baden, and I apologize, Mr. Carlos Cruz. I missed you yesterday as well. Hello, um, teacher. Hello. We do have also Anita Romero. We have four. Carlos Antonio Polanco, Mr. Polanco, it's nice to see your face once again. Charlie Brown. Oh no, yes, hello. Charlie Brown, yes. Hello. Hello, hello. Mr. Gerardo Rivera. Diana. Hi, teacher. Hey, Diana. No, Diana. Sorry, Diana. That's in Spanish. I apologize. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Steffi, how are you, Steffi? Good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure. That's cool. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, cool. So we can see each other. Okay, finally, it's because I was combing my hair. So that's why I didn't appear on camera, but now I already have a comb. So definitely. <laughs> hey, guys, it's nice to see you once again. How's your day going so far? How was your day? Was it good? Or no? Very good. Very good. Day. Oh, that's good. Excellent. A, a lot of work to do. A lot of traffic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. For the ones that used to walk to work, but now that she has a car, like Janet, for example, <laughs> that was a lot of traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Very good. I'm I so always, I always traffic. Really, Diana? You always have a traffic. Do you, yes. do you drive? Yeah? No, I no? take you take I the take bus. Oh, oh my yes. god. Uh what time are you supposed to end uh, your work or your end your shift? At what time? Um at seven, seven a.m. No, I, it does at seven a.m. you start and at what time you finish? Ah, I finish at um, four p.m. At 4 p.m. Okay, so yes. in how much time does it take you from work back to home? I um, 15 minutes. How you say that in English? Oh my God! Don't forget, don't remember the numbers. Come on, cardinal numbers. Uh huh. Uh huh. How you said 15 in in English? How you say that? I will, no, I will, I will die. I will die. No, 15, 15, 15. Okay. no 50, right? 50 is five, zero. 15 is one, five. Okay. What about minutes? Minutes is in the Spanish minutos, right? So you said it takes me 15 minutes. Okay. Repeat please. It takes me. It it takes. No, it takes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen. No, remember that there is like a group that handles every soccer games, right? The FIFA, FIFA, right? Okay. When you pronounce FIFA. It FIFA? is there's an, an earth that comes out of your mouth. Fif, fifa, FIFA, right? Okay. Okay, so that same way you pronounce 15. Fix then. No, fix no. Fif, 15. Fif, 15. 15. Very good. Now 15. do me a favor. Exactly, Carlitos. Say again the, the expression. It takes me 15 minutes. 15 minutes. minutes. Okay, now Janet, Diana, the complete sentence, please. I, it, I takes. No, it takes. It take, 
It Fix. takes it takes fifteen fifteen minutes. Very good. Now you have to add the subject. In this case, is yourself. So you said it takes me fifteen minutes. Say it. It takes me fifteen minutes. Bravo. Very good. That's the spirit. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent. Very good job. I know it's like. It, Thanks God that we are no face to face, right? Because everybody will be like with umbrella, right? <laughs> like, remember the Sylvester, like, like that? Split it out, yeah? Do you understand my joke? No, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gerardo, did you understand? Yes, teacher. That he, he was like Sylvester. <laughs> remember the cat? Split, split <laughs> like out. That? Okay. Split out. Split out exactly. Very good. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, guys. So that's wonderful. Katie, welcome back to the jungle. Sorry, to the class. All righty. We missed you today. Hey, Claudia O. Claudia O. What? Orantes? Oh, was an Oscar? What? Claudita, I wonder if you can put your entire last name, please. That would be awesome. Okay, Stephanie Morales. Very good. Hey guys, <laughs> I remember that we had a hunger, right? Uh huh. And don't tell me that you didn't do it because I'm not going to accept a no. Okay, no way. So if you didn't do it, I'm sorry, but we are going to practice today. There were like five dialogues, right? Five mini dialogues. I remember that. Yep. Yeah? Okay, cool. So let's. Let the party start. Yeah. Is everybody happy? Yes, right? <laughs> you have a really good smile. Everybody like, yeah. Okay, don't worry. Everything's gonna be right. Okay. I remember that yesterday, guys, uh, basically we finished using it, the um, adverse of frequency, right? We saw the two questions. Remember that we practice? How often do you, do you ever and then, yeah, with how often, guys, do you have to use hours of frequency or do you have to use like oh, a specific times that you do an activity? What is the correct way? If a I specific say, activity. Exactly. For example, if I ask uh, Janet, how often do you sing? Why you're going to tell me, Janet? I sing all the day. <laughs> Every day, right? Every day. Very good. Excellent. But if I said, uh, if I ask Alexander, how often do you exercise? Five times per week. Five times per week. Excellent. Very good. I'm not going to ask Gerardo because Gerardo exercises seven times a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. I'm just five, using you. Five. five, five, five. All right. Two. Okay. But... Let me ask, uh, let me check it out. Oh, yeah, Mr. Carlos Antonio. Do you ever exercise? Yes. <laughs> no. I never exercise. I never exercise. Oh. Yeah, I remember that that was your answer. You never exercise. I never, never mm. exercise. All right. Never. <laughs> you can say never or you can say never. But this is, yes, I, this is a pronunciation is for the uh, people in England. British one, yes. No? Yes, it is. British, British, yes. Yes, England. actually, yes. I do speak British English. I do not speak American English. But I know both pronunciation and both vocabulary and so on. So I will teach you both pronunciations, okay? Yeah, you, I, 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 I might sound like... <laughs> mm, all right. I'm <laughs> just teasing you. All right, very good. Okay, cool. So let me share right now my screen. But before I do, hey guys, can, do you uh, remember by any chance which of the hours of frequency we saw yesterday? Can somebody mention one of them? Which ones? Which was the hours of frequency? Always. Always. Another one? Even. Often. Never. Often. Okay. Sometimes. 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 Usually. Very good. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Almost ever. Almost never, ever, almost. almost never, right? Never. <laughs> Always. What else? 
Hey guys, and let me ask you a quick question. Uh, which are the adverbs of frequency that I can use also at the beginning of the sentence? Sometimes. 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 What else? One Always. more. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Uh huh. Come on. No way. Yeah. Sometimes we're missing two more. Sometimes, yes, sometimes it's one of them. Uh huh. <gasps> no. 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 Come on. No, we're missing one more, guys. Sorry, one more. Only one more. Sometimes it's good. Hey. You don't remember. Only, only mention sometimes. No way. I gave you an example. Most of the time. Yeah. Usually. 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 Come on. All righty. Uh -huh. Okay, you will never forget it. Okay, very good. Excellent. So what? So which are the adverbs of frequency that we can use at the beginning of the sentence? Uh, sometimes and usually. Excellent job. Very good. Okay, so now that we already know that, let me share right now my screen and I'm going to ask a volunteer. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Are you ready? Yes, right? Yes, I know that you're ready. Are you ready, guys? Yes. No. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Very good. That's the spirit that I need to hear. All right. Excellent. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you see it? My screen. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. Okay. That's what I want to know. There you go. Let me go back and share once again. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's go with the first one. The first one. A and B. Okay. Let me, which, let me pick some big teams, sorry. Let me pick some participants, okay? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Alexander, I want you to be letter A. And okay. Gerardo, would you like to be letter B? Yes, okay, yes. go ahead. <laughs> okay, Alexander, how go, are you going go to ahead. formulate that question using ever? Uh, do you ever play sport? Uh, again, please. Do you ever? Uh, plays, play sports. Again, please. I cannot hear you well. Okay. Do you ever play sports? Uh, one more time. One second. Do you ever play sports? Yeah, very good. That's what. That's very good. Excellent. Now, yes, it's clear. Okay. Can you please answer, Mr. Gerardo? Uh, yeah. Sure. I played. Twice a week, play soccer. Uh -uh. Again, I play soccer. I play soccer twice a week. Very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Let me go back. Hey, hey Alexander, do you know why I might, why I make you repeat it? Uh, I, I have an idea. Uh -huh. I think it was when I tried to add Play and sports. No, no. Actually, actually, that was not that. Yeah, good, <laughs> good use of the ever because it said, "Do you ever?" That's good. Uh, uh -huh. The first time was for the intonation because it didn't okay. sound like a question intonation, and the second and the third time is because you were missing the s for sports. Okay. And to be honest with you, my ear is really developed. So yes, I, I need, <laughs> I need to, to listen sports. Do you ever play sports? That's what I need to sports. listen, right? Uh -huh. okay. If I don't listen, that means uh -uh, you're missing something. Do it again. I know. Thank and you're you, going to do it again and again and again until you do it correctly. I know, Alexander. Sometimes it will be up to you guys if we stay in the same situation until the class finish. What? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. Yeah, but very good. So now, Alexander, do me a favor. Pronounce it one more time and let me check how it goes, okay? There you go. Okay. Go back. Okay, go ahead, sir. Pronounce the question once again for number one, please. Okay. Do you ever play sports? There you go. That's what I need. Excellent job, my man. Okay. Very good. Yes. No, thank you. You're, you're amazing. All right, number two, <clears throat> Steffi, would you like to do uh, letter eight and who else? 
And Eileen, would you like to do letter B? Okay, girls, go ahead. Okay. What do you do usually? No, uh, what do you do usually? No. What uh -uh. do you usually do on Saturday morning? Very good. That's the spirit. Letter B, please. Nothing much. I sleep almost always until noon. Very good. Excellent. Good job, girls. All right. Very good. Let me double check. Next. Janet, would you like? I uh, know Janet, no, because Janet doesn't do exercise. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Janet. Okay, Janet, would you like to do letter A and letter B, Carlos Polanco, please? Okay. How often do you do aerobics at the gym? How often? Are you sure? Letter and letter A is do you? It's not how. It's mm. we do. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. Where is it? So, do you? Oh, do you? Uh huh. Where do you yeah, think it's... that often goes? Remember that the first do is the auxiliary, and the second do is the main verb, right? Huh. Ah. Uh huh. It's clear now. Uh huh. Mm. What about do you often? often? Uh huh. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Very good, excellent. <laughs> Answer please, Carlitos. Carlitos, Carlitos, Polanco. Is it here, there by any chance or no? Carlitos, are you still there? Carlitos. I think Carlitos is not there. Uh, wait, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the microphone. The microphone. Uh -huh. uh, Letter B wait. for number three. No, I do early ever uh -uh. aerobics. No, mm -mm. no, very good. I. Uh huh. Take no, a I look. Do aerobic early ever. Uh uh. Take a look at this. Sorry. Take a look at this one, the one that I'm circling mm -hmm. right now. You ah, see? Yeah, yeah. ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. no, I hardly ever do exercise. Very good. Yeah, Very it. good. Hey, take a look, guys, that when you use an adverse of frequency, the adverse of frequency will go between the subject and the main verb. Okay? Never forget that. Excellent job. Very good. Good job, my man. Good job, Janet. Okay, number four, my next big team, sorry, my next participant. And Anita Romero, would you like to try? And also Eunice? Okay. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Very good. Can I have please the answer, uh, El? No, I never exercise on Sundays. Very good. No, I never exercise on Sunday. That's amazing. And last but not least, excellent job, girl. Um, Mr. Boris, can you please be so kind to do number five for me? And letter A. And let me check who's going to be letter B, as in Bravo, Diana. Very good. Okay. Number five, please. Very good. What do you do? What do you usually do after class? Very good. Uh -huh, Diana? I, I go I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Let me uh, ask you to repeat one more time two parts. Could you please repeat this one? And listen carefully, Diana. I go. Go out. I go up. No, no, go out. No, no, go out. No, go out. I Just got huh? with my classmate. No, let, listen carefully. I go out. Just repeat that. I go out. Say it. I go out. Out. I go out. Very good. With my classmates. 
with my classmates. About three times a week. About three times a week. Take take a look at my mouth. I want I want to see your face, Dianita. Dianita. Dianita, very good. I want to see your face. And this is not only for Dianita, this is for everybody, okay? When you have go out is a phrasal verb and you have to pronounce it in one way, okay? So like to get used to frequently and also basically to sound more natural, okay? So you said, repeat after me, Dianita. I go out. I go out. Out. Okay, exactly. Out. I go out. Very good. I go out. Once again. I go out. Exactly. With my classmates. With my classmates. Mates. With my classmates. Very good. Three times a week. Three times a Three. Three. Uh-huh, kind of. Okay, remember, guys, that if I said tree, I'm talking about a tree, right? A plant. Okay, but if I said the number three, like this, guys, let me write it on the chat. It's not only you, okay? So don't worry. I, this is for everybody, Danita. I will have to pronounce it like that. Like, Take a look at the chat, guys. Take a look at the chat. Okay, remember that when you have a T with an H together, it's pronounced like Z as in zebra. So you said three. Take a look at my mouth and the tongue. The tongue goes between the two groups of teeth. Three. Can you please, can everybody repeat please? Three. 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 Very three. good. Three. You don't say three. You said three. Oh, three. Okay. okay. It's so, good. Uh, exactly. <laughs> three. I know. I know it's really hard, uh, but you have to get used to it. So does it, don't worry, guys, if you like do it. I go out and you like open your mouth like, ah, right? No, don't worry about that. It is just for you to get used to the correct pronunciation. Okay. When you pronounce it correctly, then we can move to the second phase which in this case, try to speak a little bit faster, okay? So repeat after me. I go out, everybody. I, I, go, go, out. Out. I, I go, go out. I go out. With my classmates. With my classmates. My classmates. Three times a week. Three times, Three times a, week. a week. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Classmates. 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 Three times a week. Three times, times a, week. a week. Okay. Times now week. we're going to try to like uh, speak a little bit faster that sentence. Eh? Okay, everybody, I go out. Just that. I, I go, go out. out. I, go I, go out. Go out. I go out. I go out. I go out with. I go out with. I go out with my classmates. I go out with my classmates. With my classmates. I go out with my classmates. I go out with my classmates three times. I go out with my classmates three times. I go out with my classmates three times a week. I go out with my classmates three times a week. Very good. Okay, Ms. Eileen, could you please be so kind to pronounce that sentence for me, for us, for everybody? I think Eileen is not in the class. All right. What about, I'm here, I'm okay, here. okay, so I want to listen to you. I go out with my classmates three times a week. Okay, now, very good, the pronunciation, but now a little bit faster, Eileen. I go out with my classmates three times a week. Again, a little bit faster. I go out with my classmates three times a week. Aha, uh -huh. try to pronounce three for me again. Three. Number three. Three. Not three. 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 Very good. Okay, once again, the last time, please, Eileen. Go ahead. I go out with my classmates three times a week. Fantastic. Excellent job, my girl. 
That's the spirit. Woohoo! Very good. Excellent. We're going to have a party today, yeah? Because everybody, you broke my heart. Very good. Excellent. <clears throat> Katie, what about you? Miss Carrie, I think she's doing aerobics or something. Uh, sorry, I don't listen. You don't listen. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> were you listening while we are practicing a sentence, the pronunciation of the sentence? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so could you please be so kind to repeat to us that same sentence, please? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was the sentence? Uh, hey, can somebody help Katie? What was the sentence, guys? Carlitos Antonio? The sentence. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, the ah. sentence. Ah. Uh -huh. I go out with my classmates three times a week. Uh huh. But do me a favor. Try to say it a little bit faster. Ah. Uh, I go out with my classmates uh, three times a week. No, I don't want you to stop. You know what? I don't want you to say, I go out and then you could say no. All together. I'll go out with my classmates three times a week. Like that. I go out with my classmates three times a week. Very good. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Kyrie. You got to be here, right? Because I'm. you don't know who am I going to ask for. Very good. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. No, excellent Sorry. job. No, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you, girl. You broke my heart. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So you see, we practice that. Excellent job. Hey, any questions so far with the use of the adverse of frequency in how to ask when somebody asks you, uh, how often do you, do you ever, any question guys so far is it good? Are we okay? Florcita, Eu, Jenny, Steffi, Janet? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Clear it's like sure. water? Yes, Anita? Uh, in in the four, why number uh, four? Why change the order uh, of frequency? Uh huh. Do you? Okay. Ah, take a look. Uh, are you? Everybody's here with me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me show it to you. Okay, first of all, take a look at this, um, Anita. This is the question, you see? This is a regular question, okay? Do you ever? Okay. Take a look at the structure. First, we have to have the auxiliary okay, verb, yeah. right? Auxiliary, yes. Okay. Then we have the subject. Okay. Then, Anita, we have the average of frequency that we can use. And then we have the main verb, and this one will be the, yeah, the rest of the sentence or the rest of the question, right? The complement. That. Uh, uh -huh. Take a look at this one. Take a look at this. My question is with answer. With the answer. Uh huh. Uh, the. But it's the exactly the same. Five. Sorry. Uh -huh. Yes. Five. Five. Not number five. No number four. No, five. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh huh. So that's what I was. The like, answer. What? Uh huh. Um, why change the order uh, of about the answer three times a week? Ah, uh, take a yes. look. Take a look at this one. Let me go back here. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. There you go. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here. Take a look. Take a look at this question. What do you do after class? I want to know the activity, uh -huh. right? So take a look at the, at the answer. I go out with my classmate three times a week. Hey, I want to know what is exactly that you do. Uh huh. So you said, yeah. I, uh, of course, you go out, but you are going to specify the frequency of what you do the activity. So it's going to be an answer like this one, Anita. You see? Okay. I okay. go out once a week, twice yes. a month, etc. So it's exactly like that. Depends on what you're gonna set, you have to use either one or another. Yes. Is it Thank good? You. 
You're welcome. Very good. Okay, guys. So now let's practice the listening part. And uh, is everybody here on my screen? Yes. I wanna. I'm gonna to send it to you right now. A screenshot through your WhatsApp. Hopefully, everybody's there in the WhatsApp group. Tell me as soon as you're able to receive my uh, screenshot, okay? Give me just one moment. There you go. Do you receive it, guys? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, we will continue with this one. This is going to be the last exercise that we're going to do regarding the adverse of frequency. So in this case, if you have seen on the screenshot that I sent it to you, uh, there will be three people discussing about what they like to do in the evening. Okay, so we have Justin, Carrie, and Marcus. All right. And there's two parts of that chart. One is the activity and the other one will be how often, okay? So first guys, what I want you to do, I want, I'm going to play the audio two times, only two times, okay? And the first time, focus on the activity, nothing else. If he mentioned the frequency, that's okay. But I, because if, you, if you're trying to like answer the two things at the same time, you're gonna get confused and you will never get any answer. So I'll just focus on the first thing and the activity. And in the second time, you're gonna focus on the frequency of the activity, okay? We'll continue practicing for a specific information, guys. This, this week will be soft and slow. Next week will be harder, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Everything's going to be all right. Come on. All right. Ready? Yes. Oh, my God. Ready? Yes. Oh, yes. No. Yeah. Okay. That's the spirit that I need. 38. Exercise 7. Listening. In the evening. Part A. Listen to three people discuss what they like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So what do you usually do in the evening, Justin? I exercise a lot. I like to go swimming after work. Yeah? How often do you go swimming? Twice a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, you are in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Carrie. Oh, thanks, Marcos. I usually go to the gym and do yoga in the evenings. I love it. My friends and I take a yoga class there. How often do you go? Three times a week. And what about you, Marcos? Do you ever go to the gym in the evenings? Actually, I don't exercise very much. But I go bowling about twice a month. But I'm not, not very good. Okay. Guys, what is the activity that Justin do? Well, that's all sorry. Right. He exercise. 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 And specifically? Exercise. Swimming. 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 Very good. Swimming. What about Carrie? Gym and yoga. Yoga. Goes to the yoga. Gym and yoga. 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 Very good. What about Marcus? Don't exercise and bowling. He, he, he don't bowling. exercise. He, do he don't or he doesn't? He do bowling. He, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. But he likes to practice bowling. Is he good at bowling? Uh, not much. Not really, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to play the second time. And now, guys, focus on the frequency of the activity, okay? Let me just a couple okay. of minutes. Let me go back to this. Twice. Page 38, exercise 7, listening, in the evening. Part A. Listen to three people discuss what they like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So what do you usually do in the evening, Justin? I exercise a lot. I like to go swimming after work. Yeah? How often do you go swimming? Twice a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, you are in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Carrie. 
Oh, thanks, Marcos. I usually go to the gym and do yoga in the evenings. I love it. My friends and I take a yoga class there. How often do you go? Three times a week. And what about you, Marcos? Do you ever go to the gym in the evenings? Actually, I don't exercise very much. But I go bowling about twice a month. But I'm not very good. Pete? All right. So, let me ask you, Justin, how many times a week does he go and exercises? Twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week. All right. Twice what about Carrie? Twice a week. And Mr. Marcus? Twice a month. Twice a month. Can you imagine? That's why he's not good on bowling, because only two times a month. Come on. Uh, I, what do you think, guys? He, he has to go like at least two or three times per week, right? <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. If not, he's not going to be, he's not going to improve. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys. Now, mm -mm -mm, let's continue with the listening part, okay? And then I'm going to share with you another thing. So let me just a couple of minutes. <laughs> this is going to be some more fun. And with this listening, guys, we finish um, to this activity. But let me ask you something regarding the listening part that we have just heard. If I ask you, who you identify with, Justin, Carrie, or Marcos? What are you going to say? Uh-huh. Tell me the truth. Marcos. Okay, Janice and Marcus. Marcos. All right. And I think also Carlito, right? Marcus. <laughs> okay, what about the rest of the guys? With Carrie? Justin? Justin. Justin, okay. Justin. What about you, Ale? Okay, Justin. Marcus. What about you, Ale? Steffi? Jenny? Marcus. Marcus? Okay, she's fine. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, we care. Oh, oh, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and she has like a similar name. Ah, Carrie, Carrie. Very good. Excellent. What about you, Jenny? Marcus. <laughs> she's like, Marcus. <laughs> okay, at least she's honest. Very good. What about you, Dianita? Carrie. Carrie? Okay, very good. Anita? Justin. Justin? Okay. Steffi Morales? Uh, Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, she's like, uh, Marcus, okay. <laughs> at least she's honest as well. Very good. It's Claudia. popular. Yeah, it's popular. I don't know why. <laughs> Claudita Obispo? I identify with Marcos. With Marcos too. Oh my goodness. Okay, what about you, Eileen? Miss Eileen? She just stands up and got a cup of coffee. That could be. Let's let's wait for her. Carlitos Cruz, what about you? Uh with Justin. With Justin, okay. What about you, Boris? Identify with Justin. Ah, oh, you too, Justin. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's let's ask Aileen once again. Maybe she's come back already. Aileen, what about you, girl? No. We have a problem, <laughs> but that's okay. Not a problem. Let's continue with that. All right, excellent. Hey, Carlos Rano, welcome to the class, sir. We have missed you, but you're here. Woohoo! Very good. Good night. Okay, guys, so let's continue. Now, let me share my screen and we're going to keep on practices, okay? Keep on practices. Okay, but before we move on, um, we're going to continue talk, listening the parts and let me ask you something. Uh, 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 I will give you more vocabulary before we move on to the next um we can set to the next grammar topic. Let me send right now with you the information that I want you to have. And allow me just a couple of minutes. Okay, very good. Do you have it guys? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> this is funny, right? Okay, guys, this is what I sent it to you because we would like to talk about sports, right? There are some um, idioms or expressions that we use uh, to talk about uh, if we really like a sport or if we really want to do exercise. And we have four things, a couch potato. Remember that we, that we heard that yesterday's seasoning? Yeah, a couch yes. potato. That means like, uh -uh, no, I just wanna sit there and nobody's going to move from the sofa. Okay, my couch potato. What about a fitness freak? It's different guys for a sports nuts. Okay, it's different. Because a fitness freak is a person that is like obsessive with doing exercises, a lot, physical exercises. But a sport nuts is the person who is crazy about all kinds of sports, okay? It doesn't matter if that person practices sports or not, okay? But a sports that. nuts is like that person that loves soccer, basketball, volleyball, swimming, and you know what, if, if she goes to the Olympics, that person <laughs> goes to every a game that could possible go, okay? So that is a that is a sports nuts, okay? All right, and Jim Rat, <laughs> that's amazing. When that person that is always in the gym, twenty four seven in the gym, right? Twenty four seven, okay. So guys, I share with you this information because it's really important, as I as I said yesterday, to increase the vocabulary, right? talking about exercises or activities. So it's really nice guys that you increase your vocabulary and your ideas in the new idioms or new expressions that you can use when you're talking about sports and exercises. And now that you have that little information, we're going to listen to three people today. Today guys, we're going to focus the first part of the listening part. We're going, you told me, teacher, I wanna improve my listening, okay. And I took it literally. So that's why I give you a lot of listening parts, okay? And listening activities. So guys, you were going to listen to three people, Dan, Jean, and Sally, and Phil. So it's going to be four, my apologies. And they're going to discuss about sports and exercise. So guys, I want you to pay attention and to let me know who is a couch potato, who is a fitness freak, who is a sports nuts, and who is a gym rat? So we have four names. Can somebody repeat it for me? Four names. Dom, Jim, Sally, and, uh -huh. and, and Phil. Phil. Very good. Okay, excellent, guys. Hey, doing a little parenthesis. Can you check how you how the that is how is written the last name of the person? The last name named Phil. How you write Phil? Is there? Yeah. Is there? Is there on this on the screenshot that I sent it to you? P -H -I -L. Right. Uh -huh. P H I L. Exactly. Hey guys, this is another intonation or yes, advice. Remember that T H pronounced as Z as in zebra, right? Like three. And now when you see P H together, you pronounce like F as in frack. Okay. So every time you see that is feel, for example, remember Philadelphia, it is PH. The company that is in charge of the bulbs and everything, Philips lighting, Philips with PH. Okay, so that is just a clue for the pronunciation. So PH, F, TH, Z as in zebra. Okay, guys, so let's continue with the listening part. Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's the spirit, come on. <laughs> Is that the spirit? No way. <laughs> come on, guys. Yes. Okay, no. Is that, are you ready, yes or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, that's yeah. the spirit. Huh. Energy. There you go. Okay. Exercise 12, listening. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible at sports. Listen to Dan, Jean, Sally, and Phil discuss sports and exercise. Who is a couch potato, a fitness freak, a sports nut, 
a gym rat. How good are you at sports, Dan? Are you kidding? I'm terrible, but I love to watch sports. I go to baseball games all the time. My favorite team is the Tigers, and I buy three or four different sports magazines every week. Wow. Do you like sports, Jean? Oh, yes. I like to exercise, but I don't watch sports very much, and I never buy sports magazines. How much time do you spend exercising? Well, I guess I exercise about two or three hours a day. I do aerobics at home three times a week, and the other days I go swimming. Oh, and sometimes I go bicycling. That's great. Sally, you're in great shape too. Thanks. I go to the gym six days a week. Six days a week? Wow. I love the gym. I run on the treadmill and then do weight training for about an hour. And what about you, Phil? Oh, I'm too lazy to play sports. I really hate exercising, and I almost never go to any sporting events. In my free time, I like to sit with my feet up and watch my favorite TV shows. Okay, did you identify with some of them? <laughs> yes. yes. All righty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me, who is a couch potato? Phil. Phil. Uh huh. Who identify with Phil? Raise your Phil. hand. Be honest. Me. <laughs> Steffi, <laughs> Claudia, Mr. Polanco, and you, Janet, as well? Yes. <laughs> I think you too, right, Dianita? <laughs> Me, <I'm... laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, very good. What about who's a freak, a fitness freak? Jean. Jean, very good. Jean. Who has identified with Jean? Steffi. Gerardo. What about you, Ale? No. Me? And you, Gary? Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. <laughs> uh, what about sports nuts? Who's a sport nuts? Dan. Dan. Sally. Dan. Sally? Sally? No. no, no, no. Dan. It's Dan. Dan. Very good. Dan. Who Dan. identified with Dan? Who? Who's crazy about sports? Steffi. Only Steffi? Okay. What about who is a gym rat? Sally. 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 Yeah. Hey, did you get it, guys? How much? How many times per week did she go to the gym? How many times? Six times a week. Six times a week, Ale. Yeah. Can you imagine? Hey, head out the one more day, <laughs> right? Because you exercise five times a week, right? And also, Alexander. But can you imagine five, six times a week? Except for the internet, please. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing, right? Who identify with uh, with Sally? <laughs> Only Steffi. <laughs> <laughs> Only Steffi? All right. What about you, Flor? What about you, Carlitos Cruz? No? Hey, Jim Ray. With Jim, the Jim. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Very good. So, guys, you can increase your vocabulary, right? Okay. Uh huh. You don't know what I will have in mind for tomorrow, so don't worry. I'm giving you all the tools, right? All the vocabulary, all the pronunciation, all the listening. The teacher has a good, good idea for tomorrow that you cannot imagine. So you better study. Okay, that's my advice to you. You better study. Yes, I'm a teacher with a lot of surprises. Yes, I am. <laughs> and John is like, oh my God. All righty, very good. So guys, now let me do something. I think there's something. Uh, let's continue with the listening part. And basically what I want you to do is to listen guys about two people or two friends that they are talking about um, his activity. And I want you guys to let me know what is exactly that sport that the girl and the boy practices. And this time, guys, I'm going to put it a little bit harder. I'm not going to play the, the audio two times. I'm going to play the audio only one 
time. So I want you to focus 100%, okay? I want you guys to identify the activities and the frequency, okay? All right, ready? Oh, yes. No. yes. Okay, that's the spirit yes. I need. Come on. Uh huh. I know I'm not going to share right now the dialogue. Come on. Mm -mm, no way. Why, teacher? Yes, because no. Then, guys, we're going to practice. Okay, so don't worry about that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, okay, there you go. That's what I have here. <laughs> There you go. Let me share right now my screen with you. Okay, guys. Exercise 10, part B. Listen to Keith and Ruth after their tennis match. Who's the winner? Good game, Keith. Thanks. You too. And congratulations on the win. You play pretty well. Oh, no, not really. How often do you play? Once or twice a year. I'm just lucky today, I guess. Want to play another game? Um, sure. After a five minute break. Okay. Uh huh. So, which is which are the sports or the activities that they practice? It and root. Hmm. Are you really? Uh huh. Really? Is it truth? Are you sure, guys? No. It and root. Uh huh. No, really. Put again, please. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I will try to put it one time. I know it was hard, right? Yes. I know, I know. Okay, I'm going to put it one more time. Yes, please. Okay, this is going to be a little bit faster. Page 39, exercise 10, conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. Part A, listen and practice. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well. Hmm. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. <laughs> Okay, page. So, guys, tell me what what they're talking about. What kind of uh, activities that does he uh, play? Tennis. Plays tennis. What else? What else? Tennis. What else? Do I uh, listen to twice a week? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? Checking. Plays rugby. Aerobics. And tennis, yes, two times a week. Excellent. Okay. Hey, hey, guys, could you now, guys, do me a favor? Let me double check if you could identify that. Did you listen? What kind of questions that she formulate to him? What kind of questions? No. Um. Uh huh. When she was asking about the activities. Mm -hmm. She said, how often do you work out? Remember, how Knowledge. often do you work out? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, guys, uh, I teach you the last time with how often that we can answer like in a whole center, right? I go to the gym thrice a week, right? We can say that. But also, guys, uh, with questions with how, we have a lot of questions with how. How often you do something? 
Also, we have a question that says, how long do you spend at the gym? For example, regarding the time. Uh, how good are you at sports? Regarding your, um, if you're good on, on one or another. And how well do you play tennis, et cetera, right? So all of those questions are questions with how, and we can also have another option, guys. We can answer in a long way, but also we can answer them in a short way. For example, if I said, how often do you go to the gym or do you do exercise? Gerardo can simply said five times a week, uh, like that. Okay, he can. He has the option to say, I. I do exercise three times a week. Yes, he can do that. But also, when somebody asks ask you that question, you can also give a short a answer. A straight to the point. Yeah? Does it have to be like the whole soap opera? I teach you the other way because I want you guys to have in mind the structure of the sentence. Yeah? But also in English, it's really fun because English is like algebra. <laughs> I don't know if somebody wants loves sport uh, uh, math, but algebra means simplicity, right? In Spanish, so English is like that way. Okay, if with English is like variety things, is there are many ways to say exactly the same thing. So that's what I'm teaching you right now. You can give the long answer, but also you can give the short answer. Okay, let me ask you one question. Uh, 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 uh. Bodies. How often do you do exercise? Um, I, I. No, no, no! Do don't exercise. use I. Don't use. Don't use I. Just give me the short sentence. Short answer, please. Five, five times a week. Very good. Five times a week. That's what I need. Okay. Excellent. Guys, who go to the gym? Who goes to the gym? Nobody goes to the gym. Nobody. No. Okay, uh, Alejandro or Alexander, sorry. How often do you go out with your with your dogs? Mr. Alexander is frozen like like that. Uh, three times a week. Three times a week, fantastic, very good. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I have some problem with the internet. Yes, I think so. Okay, um, Jenny, let's pretend, let's pretend, okay? Use our imagination that you are like Sally, right? You are gym rat. <laughs> All right, so let's pretend that you're like her. And if I ask you, how long do you spend in the gym? How long? That means a period of time, right? How you're going to answer that question? Give me a specific answer, please. Uh, I know. So, uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Excellent. Very good. 40, you can say 45 minutes a day, like that. Okay. Excellent job. Very good. If I ask you, for example, EU. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Uh, Ask, hey, well, I'm going to ask Janet this question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Remember, guys, that yesterday there was somebody like in the dividing, right? Disputing about, hey, teacher, this is not working. The platform is due, but it's not working. So, la, 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 right? You know, that discussion and everything. Okay. I mentioned to you yesterday that uh, when we're talking about abilities that some person has, like uh, speaking languages or listen carefully or playing an instrument or drawing, for example, there is a verb that always we have to use in this case is can, right? So talking about singing, <laughs> all right, that is an ability that not most of the people had. So let me ask you, how well, Janet, can you sing? Honestly? Uh-huh. Mm, no, no, use your imagination. Well. <laughs> you are you are Whitney Houston's uh, daughter, okay? Pretty well. 
<laughs> Pretty well. <laughs> get excellent. <laughs> you see, that's the spirit, my girl. That's the spirit. Very good. Okay, excellent. You see, okay. She's lying herself, but that's okay. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> no, 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 Janet. I'm just teasing you. Yeah, you see, we have fun. We have fun. Okay. And let me check. Uh, Flor, now is your turn. Yes. Uh, yes. And she's like, okay, I'm going to count my hair, you know? Okay. I, uh, for me, Flor looks like she's a chef. I don't know about you guys, but for me, yes. Um, how good are you uh, cooking for your family? How good are you of cooking? So, 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 oh. no, no, no. You are a chef. You are like a, a Salvadorian ratatouille, right? You look like that. Hey, tell me something, Floricita. What is the fa your favorite dish that you can say? It's not because I made it, but this is mm, yummy, delicious. Mm. Don't say pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, all right. Maruchan. Uh, no, chicken. that was easy. <laughs> chicken, chicken. Chicken, really? Any specialty, by yes. the way? Any specialty? Yes. I don't know. You tell her the recipe, please. I don't know. Maybe chicken with mushrooms and like uh, white sauce. That could be. And Gerard is like, mmm, that sounds <laughs> jammy. Yeah. Uh, he is, he's doing it. He's just in his imagination. Like, bloop, 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 right? <laughs> like popping up everything. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. So you see, guys, it's, it's really easy, right? To, to yeah. answer is go straight ahead. You don't have to complicate yourself. But you have to read carefully the answer to get to know if you're going to use how well, how good, how long, how often, because it could be tricky. It could be tricky. For example, how well. How well, you will always use it, the first part. But the second part, it could be any, any, any verb. Depends. It could be do. It could be can. It could be another verb. So you gotta pay attention on what is exactly the answer so you will be able to know what verb you're gonna use. And guys, right now, this is just simple present. Simple present. <laughs> We're about to start simple past. Isn't it amazing? Only the teacher is happy. Yay! Uh-huh. I have a question. Uh-huh, Anita, go ahead. What is the different uh, mm -hmm. of how well or how good? Ah, okay. That's a really interesting question. Anybody can answer? I will give you a chance. No, teacher. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't tell me that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, the difference, Anita, is, for example, when I said how well, I'm asking you directly about an, a specific, um, an, a specific activity. For example, I said, how well, um, Janet, how well can you sing, right? I asked her a specific thing. How mm -hmm. well can you play tennis? How well can you mm -hmm. speak English? Like that, right? But okay. if I said, how good are you? I'm talking about in general. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Yes. Guys, you know what? Time is over. Wow. <laughs> One hour passed really, really fast. Uh, isn't it amazing? Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. Did you feel the time? No. Not no. really, right? No, you see, with this crazy teacher no. like me, you will never feel the time. Okay, guys, so I, I'm going to give you good news. What is the good news, teacher? <laughs> that I have another homework for you. I know. Yeah, yeah, we will continue practicing. We have practiced today uh, pronunciation, right? 
and also we have practiced our uh, listening part. So, and also we have practiced writing, right? As well, well, it was a homework. Okay, today guys, uh, I'm gonna send you another writing activity as a homework, but tomorrow we're gonna do something, okay? Hey, would you like to have a dialogue between your, your classmates? Do you remember the dialogue that we have listened right now about going to the gym and practice aerobics and practice tennis? Okay, so tomorrow we're going to practice the same dialogue, okay? So you're going to okay. pretend to be the girl and the boy could be pretend the boy, obviously, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> obviously. But sometimes I can change. Depends on how many boys we have. For example, today, we only have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six boys. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten girls. So I know you can you imagine, right? How to like do some magic there. Okay. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me send it to you. And once you receive it, let me know. I'm just a couple of minutes. We almost finished. I promise you, hey, guys. Teacher. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Could you add me to the WhatsApp group, please? What? Could you add me to the WhatsApp group? Hey, but you but you can add yourself. Can I? How? Yes. Where are you? Alexander, right? Yes. Okay, Ale, do you remember that I sent uh, the link yesterday? No. No. Yes, I did on the chat. But I'm going to send it one more time, okay? So don't worry about okay. it. Okay, sorry, teacher. Yes, because all that you got to do, Ale, is to like click on that. Okay, let okay. me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. I thought you, you added to yourself yesterday. It didn't work or you didn't have time. You check, Ale. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ale, do you know, do you have it already in the chat? Yeah, the yes. Zoom chat? Okay, click on it, please, and follow all the instructions. And I'm gonna double check if you are in. Oops. Hi. <laughs> okay, do your best, it's easy peasy queasy. Done. Done? You mean you are yes. the 1607? Yes. Okay, cool. There you go. So now that Ale is here, hopefully everybody's here. I'm going to send right now the exercise. Okay, guys, this is going to be four mini dialogues as always. All that you got to do is to put how well, how good, how, um, how often, how long, etc. That's all. Got it? Yes. Cool. All yes. right, guys. So I know that you love me and I love you too. <laughs> but it's time to say goodbye. Okay? So hugs and kisses. See you guys okay. tomorrow, okay? Sorry, sorry, teacher. No, 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 no. Okay, then what happened then? <laughs> the answer of the exercise number four, uh -huh. don't see it. You don't see it? Yeah. Uh, in, in the machine? Ah, okay, I made a mistake. Thank you so much. Don't worry. Don't worry, Janet. Yeah, you're right about that. Thanks. You're more than welcome. No, thank you for letting me know that because I haven't noticed it. All right. What about now, Janet? Yeah, it's okay. Is it okay? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye.